hello and welcome to the channel y'all i just got back from my bike ride i hope that y'all are having a beautiful beautiful day today shout out to the lovely monica who left a comment on the sex on the um section of the, the underneath the video the comment section monica said uh as soon as you pass one level one test there's another one Yes, yes, we are always learning from the cradle to the grave. This is nonstop. Our transmutational, our alchemical skill sets are always being tested. Welcome to the channel. I hope y'all are having a beautiful day. These braces are on my last nerve. Excuse me, but I'm supposed to be going to get the something done next week. Ah, they finally got the bottom kind of straight. There was one tooth that was turned out. They didn't put the tie on it. So I was walking around for 12 weeks. Two appointments, no tie was on it. The tooth was not moving. I could have been had these things off. I'm really ready to get them off now. I hope that you all <laughs> thank God for whoever invented wax. I hope that y'all are having a peaceful, productive, and prosperous Day, evening, morning, whenever it is, please raise your hands into victory pose. And take a moment to reflect on all of the ways that you have been victorious. Just hold the space for the beautiful things in your life and do not focus on the things that you do not want to create more of. <laughs> When I say that this is a test of the emergency broadcast system, no, it really is. Like, you can't focus on the things you don't want to create more of. Spend time focusing on the things that feel good, that feel good, that just make you feel good, even if it's not a habit that you've built that comes, like, naturally. Just begin to, to do it on as regular as a basis as you can. Wow, look at that beautiful tree. Wow, I passed that certification exam. You passed the exam, you thought about it for 10 minutes, and then you looked for the next thing to complain about. No, we can't manifest like that. Like holding the frequency, when I say hold the frequency, do y'all know that's the most difficult thing to do, to hold a vibration until you get to the point to where you are manifesting the things in your life that you want to manifest because you are, my hair looks so crazy, y'all, because you... Because you are holding the vibration all the time. You know what I'm saying? I went to the track today and I ran. I'm in, I'm a work in progress. How about that? And then I got on the bike. So I had a very active day today. Mondays are usually my days off. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do after I wish you a beautiful day and tell you to focus on the good, focus on all the wonderful things that you've accomplished as you're moving through this going to the, from the cradle to the grave, this huge learning environment, this lab that is your life. Okay, we are going to pull from the Earthcraft Oracle. Shout out to the Miss Danielle. She just sent me the world card today. After that, we'll be working on the next new three cards in the Major Arcana, which are my inventions. And then we're going to go into the suite. So I'm excited. I'm trying to figure out what it is about that card, though, that's off. So I can't comment on it yet. I hate when that happens because I'm the one that asked for the change. And now I'm looking at it, I'm like, it's still not quite. And she paints everything by hand. It's beautiful. Okay, y'all, let's get this, this message. What's the message? What do they need to hear, my beautiful, beautiful butterflies? What is challenging them and what is the message? Darkness. So lost. <laughs> okay. Darkness. Let's 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 get into it. Now remember, darkness is a relative term. Darkness can mean a lot of things to a lot of people. 
with this soul loss is telling me that something has you in a gloomy place. Now, you may not fully feel like you're in darkness, but you could be feeling a little sad or a little off about something. Uh, and I'm feeling like you're either, because you look at her, she's looking for something that she feels is missing. Or either she's looking behind to something that has created some type of soul loss. Take a look at that. When we have soul loss, y'all, trauma causes soul loss. The loss of a loved one causes soul loss. Hell, if you're waiting for your perfect partner to come in your life and you have not experienced that person as of yet in human form, you may feel soul loss because especially if you know that that person is out there, you may feel soul loss, but this is some sort of soul loss. And number six and number 29. So with soul loss, there is the lack of essence or presence of something that you know is a part of you. You can't live without this thing because it makes you feel incomplete. You so feel its absence from your life that it's actually taking something away from you. And with this darkness card here, this is something that's really bothering you. And I, we can't dismiss this here because this is not a, a frame of mind at this state. It, it can be, but what I'm thinking of or what I'm feeling at this level is that you are truly feeling as though there has been a loss or that you've lost something. And so it's important for you to heal that, to find that lost part of yourself. And sometimes that lost part of yourself can be filled by something else that takes its place, that makes you uh, happy, that helps you to feel whole and complete, which is usually some sort of a conscious decision as well. Sometimes that soul loss is the thing that you lost uh, it itself. Let's say, for example, you're really close to someone in a love relationship and you lose that person. They took a part of themselves with you. They took a part of you with them. It's hard to replace that person. You can't replace them. But what you can do is heal the pain and open up to something that can re-stimulate uh, the love and the joy in your life for a relationship. But this feels very, very difficult. I want to, before I go into the crow, crow's deck, I want to look at six. Confusion often comes from an inability to face how you got where you are. There's so much to process and heal from in the past that there simply isn't enough space to make room for the future. See, like she's looking either at someone or she's looking at the past, but this bird has wings. And so I feel like part of what she may need to heal is going to involve her focusing on the future and knowing that whatever that level of loss is, she can heal that. It may not be with something identical, but the human spirit is, is extremely resilient in its ability to bounce back and its ability to almost regenerate. It's like a starfish. You cut one arm off, it just keeps shape-shifting. Facing your deepest secrets may seem like a terrifying task. But when you are lost in the depths of the shadowy forest, you must clear the thicket of complex emotions and fear that block light from showing you the way. So this darkness that you are in is keeping out the light. You could be in a phase of this darkness because this feels like very difficult grief for me. It feels like very, very sad. Um... Yeah, look at that. That that that's a jellyfish in there, isn't it? So maybe something has stung you. Maybe this is related to heart. And I feel like it is because right up underneath this, we have this card. And then we have that bird again. Um, looks like the same bird. So that darkness is something that you may have to move through. And it could have a lot of complex emotions that are being covered up right now. 
um, but you will move through them in time. But you will have to face the pain. There's no way to to run from it. You have to deal with it, which means you have to feel it. You have to express it. You have to let it come up and come out. You have to release it. You have to be okay with facing that pain, only knowing that it's not going to last forever. But that oftentimes when you're in this state, especially with this soul loss here, that doesn't feel like a consolation. Darkness has come to you because some answers are not ready to present themselves. You may be blocking blessed illumination through patterns of denial or desire to run from a situation. So like remember I said she's looking this way, it almost looks like she's looking behind her. Like she, she wants to go forward because her body's facing this way. She's got this bird, but she's looking behind her. So it seems like here that it could be something that you are trying to run from or not wanting to really deal with, but somehow you keep getting pulled back to it on some level. Unhealed wounds from your past. Unhealed wounds from your past will slow you down. Do not allow these wounds to cause you doubt. Or to cause you to doubt your judgment and sense of direction. Yeah, and, and remember, you don't have to heal everything all at once. There's a process. For some of you, you could be stuck in a cycle that is taking something from you that you have had a hard time moving through. You know, sometimes when you think about it, it's kind of sad in life because we spend a lot of time suffering. A lot of times that suffering is a choice we make to stay stuck. Because at the end of the day, we always have a choice, but we want something else. And so we, we can be in a space of trying to fix something that requires more than just our decision, you know? Yeah, life is, is really something else. But this is heavy duty, whoever this is for. Feels like you've been stung, but it looks like you've been stung before by this, perhaps. It's taken a lot from you, and with the way she's looking, it's almost as though you are having to make a choice to leave something behind or to allow something its own time to heal or to, to straighten up and fly right, perhaps. You may need to take yourself out of the situation and just observe and let things develop while you work on trying to repair yourself. Tell me more. Three cards from this beautiful urban crow. Tell me more. Yep, we have observation. Survival. Risks and ghosts. Got this spider web here, these cobwebs. This has been something, the saying is something you need to watch and observe. Like I said, you don't need to get pulled back into something and engulfed by it. We have survival. This could relate to some type of survival issues. It's time that you assess the risk of what is going on. There's some sort of risk involved because you are so emotionally caught up in this situation, but there is still a risk involved in you getting pulled in. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like, if you look at this, if this were the only thing there, and it looks like, I can't say it's a rock. And just because we see that surface, we see that web though, there's no way to know if this is the web and that's the surface is way, way down there. If this crow tries to jump in there and expect that spider web to hold up while he's trying to get that animal and he's not prepared to get it any other way, I'm not saying he can't fly. I'm just looking at the image. Then it's not going to result. It's not going to, it's not going to be that, that spider web cannot sustain him. He, and he cannot de de get that animal out of that spider web. He cannot get this animal that's trapped in this web or this person in your life or whatever. Whatever 
this person is caught up in this web, this entanglement. It could be other relationships. It could be somebody who can't be stable or keep a job. It could be drugs. It could be anything. Whatever this other person is caught up in, it could be a mindset. It could be the past with this web here. Just de decrepit, old, decayed, whatever it is. It's caught in the web. You can't do anything. Because if you try to get down in there and do something, you're gonna drag yourself in, you're gonna drag yourself down in there. So it's time to assess the risk of this situation. And with this ghost card here, it looks like you're gonna be leaving something behind. This is a, a past situation. And it looks like you're going to have to fly above it to transcend it, but it also looks like you're not gonna allow something from the past to continue to come back and haunt you and cause this. Because right now, it's come down to your survival. It's come down to your health and your survival, and it's time to take another look at this situation and see what it is you need to learn from it. We had that card about a week ago, I think. Yeah, because this crow is trying to do something with those shells or maybe trying to fetch some shells to keep from falling in the water, but it's looking like it's going to fall in the water. We have this crow wanting to try to save somebody and not being able to do it or to rescue a situation and not being able to do it. So you're going to have to fly above. And what are they flying above? This cemetery. Something is dead. They're having to bury it, which means they're having to let it go because it's not growing. It's not morphing. It's not changing. And it has kept you in this darkness or in this place, perhaps, whoever this is, message is for. And it comes down to survival. And I want to clarify the survival card because this could really be somebody who just seems like they all, they're barely always survive and nothing ever really gets straightened out. And all you can do is sit there and watch them get caught up in this web. And there's not a daggone thing that you can do except try to protect your own self from the elements. Why is the survival here? Star. And we had a knight of coins. You know, the knight of coins is about moving forward. Okay, it's about very practical decisions that we have to make to go in a certain direction. And then we have this star card, which is bringing healing or allowing healing to happen. So right now, you have to focus on your healing. You have to focus on your healing. These are ghosts from the past. This is not anything new. It's a risky situation because it has already hurt. And it's already been painful. And it's something right now that you're going to have to focus on uh, releasing so that you can begin to feel optimistic and so that you can come up out of this darkness because the knight of pentacles wants to forge ahead albeit slowly and methodically the knight of pentacles wants to extract itself from a situation that is too risky that it knows it cannot save someone from or make things any easier this could be any number of things, so you'll have to extrapolate. But one thing is for sure, what does it say? What tangled webs we weave or something like that? All that can be done at this point is to look at the person that has spun this weave and to know that this is not a new situation. Whoever this is, I don't think this is anything new. This is something that, yeah, the wheel is trying to turn here. And there are going to be opportunities for you to forge ahead and to take advantage of a new landscape with that Ace of Pentacles underneath that. But something is trying to close out or trying to shift in your life. And this is out of your hands. It's out of your hands. You're going to have to be patient and you're going to have to remove yourself from this situation. Right now, you have to protect yourself. And this protecting yourself might be your health. It might be your peace of mind. It may be your financial stability. 
It may be your job. In other words, stop looking back, move forward. You've done all that you can do at this time. And it, it's like you're trying to move forward, but you haven't been able to. You see this, this pinnacles, this night is kind of like the horse is like, ee, it's kind of being stalled. But you know actually what you have to do. The truth has arrived with the star, star card. You've seen, you, you really have been through a dark night of the soul or you've been through tower moments with this. And it hurts. You're going to have to leave the graveyard because there's something in this situation that is barren. There's something in this situation that's not salvageable. And what it's going to do here with this survival and this risk card is it's going to drag you down with it. If you do not get out now, it is going to drag you down with it. So in the midst of the pain, you've got to make peace with something. I'm not going to read any uh, upside down cards with this, but let me, what else does the clearing need to know? Yeah, I feel like you have to get out of the, you have to get out of Dodge or you have to get out of the way of the tornado. Whatever this message is for, we have the confidence card, okay, believing in yourself, uh, coming up with a plan, and taking one step at a time, knowing that you can do this, having the confidence by knowing that you can handle this and it's not too difficult for you. And that your state of mind is being confident and believing that you're making the right choice is what is going to give you strength. Anything else? Too many cards. I had three to fall out. For some of you, it's a home situation. It could be a commitment of some sort. You're going to need to have a certain amount of willpower to make peace with this situation. Gonna have to have, have a certain amount of willpower, meaning you're gonna need to stick to your plan. And it looks like your plan here is walking and moving forward, but too many cards. Try not to look back. That's the only way healing is gonna happen. And while it may not be easy, yep, you have the strength card in healing. I said that's the only way healing is gonna happen. You have the strength card in healing. Listen. Your healing, your life, the healing of that soul loss depends on this. You have to have the courage, okay? You have to have the courage and the willpower power requires total alignment. The community of self, body, mind, spirit, everything has to be aligned so that you can move forward. Because when this happens, there's, when we look back and we're riding a horse, he's going to, you're not going to be able to, we're going to either fall off or the horse is going to, going to stall. So your very healing depends on this. It's time for you to recognize that you have what you need to overcome these. You are not short in any area, healing and confidence. That strength is very important. It's going to take a lot of strength because already you're kind of teetering on the edge of whoever this is for. We have a travel card. Better days are ahead. This requires you maybe leaving something behind. Maybe not even having full illumination and all the information that you need. But one of the things you can keep in mind is that there's nothing that you can do at this point except... Save yourself and focus on your own healing. Keep moving forward. I hope this, res this, this message resonates for whoever it's for. I love you guys. 
and I will see you again soon.